Conversion to linear form. The following sets of measurements of two variables, x and y, were obtained from a science experiment or any experiment. It thought that they are related by the formula y is equal to a x, a b to the minus x. By converting this to linear form, find whether the relationship was true for these values. So here we have the x values, and here we have the y values. First, we will plot these points using autograph. And then we'll use autograph to come up with the values of a and b. And then I will show you how to do that just by converting it into linear form. Now this is an experimental method so that the, the, the results might not come out to be the same. Now, going to autograph, okay, here I've already set up the uh, x-axis and you set up the y-axis and here is the data from, from the question. Now what you need to do is, um, you need to go to here where it says data and enter XY data set. Now if you don't want it to change the scale of the axis because it will do then this button here you need to uncheck. If you don't, if you just start out with a standard standard autograph page then it will automatically form the scale but I've made some nice graph paper already so I'm just going to uncheck that. Now in here I put in the uh, X value 1.5 2.8 3.5 4.2, 5, and 6.5. Now put in the y values, which is 80, 35, 33, 18, 10, and 6. Okay, I don't want the perform auto scale, and now I just press OK and it puts a set of points. I'm just going to change the colour of those to um, red. Okay, so we can just see by looking at the points here that we have some sort of um, some sort of decay, exponential decay. So, I was told a model in the question, so we'll press equals and put in the, get rid of the thing that says equation 1, okay, and then put in here y is equal to a, b, to the minus x. Now to the minus x is here. It's very small to see but it's here. Okay and press OK. Right, it now like just, just draws a straight line. Now with the points selected press which they are. You, okay, to show that when they're not. So select, select the points and the line selected. Go to object or right click and you've got one here that says best fit to data. So click that and then it will do the best it can to um, put it into some sort of linear regression. Okay, if we if I now click on the line and go to text box, okay, press OK, I will get the value. So I can see that y is equal to 1.91 times 1.80 to the minus x. Just by looking at my um, graph, okay. If I want the label to actually point to the graph, okay, do that, and then in my graph I think I changed it to a green colour. Okay, that's just personal taste. Okay, so going back to um, autograph, uh, going back to my script. So here is the uh, screenshot. What it does, we can see if y is equal to a b to the minus x using this method then I'm going to get that y is equal to 1.91 times 1.8 to the minus x using uh, the correct two three significant figures. Now that's doing it with autograph. However, what you've got to be able to do for the exam, you've got to be able to convert these points into linear form, and this is where you do it. All right, so another method is to convert the data to linear form. So here is the data again. And if we y is equal to a, b to the minus x, then if we take logs of both sides to the base 10, it can be to any base, so I'll get this, log to the base 10 of y is equal to log to the base 10 of a, b to the minus x. Now there's a couple of rules of logarithms here that need to be used. Log a of x, y is equal to log a of x plus log a of, of y. And log a of x to the r is equal to r log a of x. 
So we're going to have log of y is equal to log of a plus that minus can come down in front of the uh, logarithm, so minus x log b. So I've applied these two rules here. Just pause the video here if you're having trouble following that and have a, a, a good look for yourself. Okay, continuing on, I'm going to rewrite this as log y is equal to minus x log b plus log of a. Now, if I now convert this bottom row here by taking the log, so log of 80 is 1.90, log of 35 is 1.54, etc. And now on, this, on a different axis, I'm going to select x and I plot x against log of y. So going to my autograph, I'm going to my autograph here. I have the graph paper already set up and I have the data already imported in so it can be seen. And again, going back to uh, data, going to data, first enter the XY data set. Now, if you don't want it to change the auto scale, then take that off, okay? If, if not, you're just starting with a new autograph page, it's okay to leave it. So 1.5, enter the data again, 2.8. 3, 4.2, 5, and 6.5, 1.9, 1.54, 1.52, 1.26, 1, and 0. 0.78. We press OK, and what we see is that these points. I've just changed to red because it's my favourite colour for this. We just see that we get some sort of straight line and with a negative gradient. Okay. If I use autograph with a point selected object, now you'd have to do this with, with your eye, but autograph will do it for us. So best fit, and I want it order one because it's just a linear line. So the order here has to be one and press OK. Again, I'm going to change the colour of the line to green. OK, I'll just select the points there. And then I get uh, a, a straight line. So, if I can find the gradient of this line, OK, and where it cuts the intercept here, I should be able to find my values of A and B. So, I'll just get Autograph to do it first. So, clicking this, OK, and pressing the text box, OK, it will give me the, the, the straight line is uh, that. OK, and don't forget we're going to compare this with uh, log uh, y is equal to minus x log b plus log a. Okay, I'm just going to change the colour of that to red to make it stand out a bit. Okay, and we press OK here, we press OK here, and we'll compare that with that. Okay, we'll just uh, change this one thing, we're just going to change the y to convert to static text, and just change the y to log y. Okay, and if we line these up, we can see that log B has to be equal to 0 0.2266, and log A has to be equal to 2.202. However, we have to, uh, we won't have autograph in the exam, so in order to find log B, this comes from the gradient of this line, and log A comes from the uh, Y intercept, which is this point here. Okay, we can get that point by, if we select um, point, put a point there, and go back to select mode, I'm just going to change the colour to red, and then do text box, and then my point, which I'm going to call C, will be, oops, still on point mode, okay, will be that point there, get rid of that. 
Okay, will be that point there. Okay, so going back to my script. So plotting that on autograph, we end up with this. Okay, and now in order to, if we were doing this manually, so we would draw the graph, draw this line by I best fit. To find the gradient, we'll pick two points, okay, and draw in the lines. So here this is 3, this is minus 0 0.68. The gradient is uh, change in Y divided by change in X. So it's going to be minus 0 0.68 divided by 3, which is equal to minus 0 0.2266 which is the same as we've got here, and my intercept would be 2.2. We wouldn't be able to get it much more accurate than that using um, a, ma a manual method. So, going back to our expression, we've got log of y is equal to minus x times log b plus log of a. So log of y is going to be equal to minus 0 0.2266x plus 2.202. So from this we can deduce that log b, log base tender b has to be equal to 0 0.2266. Using our rules of logarithms, log to the base a or b is equal to c implies that a to the c is equal to b. And therefore we're going to get 10 because the base 10 of to the 0 0.2266 and that's equal to 1.69. And log a it will be equal to 2.202. And then using the same rule, log to the base a of b is equal to c, as a to c is equal to b. Uh, the a's are different here. Okay, the a in the here is 10. So it'll be 10 to the 2.202 is equal to our, our a. So a will be equal to 1.159 to. Uh, three significant figures. So going back to our thing, y is equal to a, b minus x, and y is equal to 159 times 1.69 minus x, if we do it this way. Okay, so using autograph, we've got a slightly different auto, uh, answer. This could be to the way that this line is actually calculated, because it's a line of best fit. Likewise, the when in the first part of the video where autograph uh, made the curve, that's also using a, a, a method of best fit of exponential regression. So 